Hey, welcome back to the show, and today I want to show you how to load film into a Fuji GA645W. This is a point and shoot 6x45 camera made by Fuji, and today I'm going to just load Ilford HP5 onto it. So, this camera is pretty simple. You have a little tab on the side which you click push down, as you can see, and it opens. Now you have your empty spool from the last roll, and the where you should put it is here. So you just have to click these little red buttons here and it lets go of this little spring on the bottom. You push this up, you use the little slit to push it in here. You gotta push this out too. So you press that button on that side. You engage it in there, push it back in. So now it's ready. Now you open your film. There's 120 film, HP 5, 400 ISO. Break your little backing paper like I showed you in other videos. You, so you all, as always, you want the white paper looking out. So you put it inside on this side and you push this to engage the roll. Now that's ready. You grab the paper leader and you use that slit to push it in. This camera, you don't turn it manually as it automatic. So you basically just start turning. You can see when I turn the wheel on the top, it turns the spool. So you just feed it the right way. You hold the little tension and now you keep on turning till you basically just see the arrow over here. I'll leave the instructions below so you can see that. It doesn't have any arrow to indicate. You just, when you see this around there, you're ready. This has a pressure plate to accept 220 film or 120 film as you can see here. It's set to 120 as this is 120 film, but if you wanted to change it, you would just have to do some pressure down and move it, slide it sideways. You just have to do that pressure down, slide it down, and push it down, slide it back to 120. Once that's loaded, all you have to do is push that, push the open back down, as you saw, it just clicks back in. These have to both be in. If they're popping out, it won't work properly. And now all you would have to do is turn your camera on, set the ISO on the wheel. So it's 400 right now. So you basically turn your wheel to make it. It was on 400, but you can see it goes down to 160. And now I just push it back up to 400. That's ready to shoot. If you want to push your film, all you have to do is push it to 500, 640, 800, 1000, 1250. 1600 so that's how easy it is now that's ready so your ISO is set and all you have to do is turn it on and it will wind onto the spool and we can be ready to shoot as you can see we're on frame one and it's ready to shoot that's how simple it is when it finishes it will finish winding the film and if you ever have trouble through mid-roll you do have an emergency rewind. You would click this with a pen and that would wind your film so you can change your film mid-roll. That is probably done if you don't want to be shooting black and white or you want to shoot color film. You can just lose the rest of the film and be able to load a new roll of film. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next Wednesday.